Okay, on this problem, we have an inner city revitalization zone is a rectangle that is twice as long as it is wide. The width of the region is growing at a rate of 46 meters per year at a time when the region is 300 meters wide. How fast is the area changing at this point in time? So what we're looking for is dA dt. That's our unknown right now. Let's also go ahead and list out all the information that we do know. All right, in this case, uh, the width dw dt, the width is changing with respect to time at a rate of 46 meters per year. At the time when the region is 300 meters wide. All right, so we've got all this information. We want to represent the area. So the area of a rectangle is, of course, length times width. And another key piece of information is given to us on this, that the rectangle is twice as long as it is wide. So I'm going to go ahead and represent this in mine. I guess this is the smaller side. So I'm going to use W for width and then 2W for our length. So our area can be represented by the length would be 2Ws multiplied by the width is going to be W, or that's going to be the same thing as 2W squareds. All right, now we want to do implicit differentiation. Uh, we want to calculate dA dt, so we're going to differentiate everything with respect to time. So we have dA dt, the derivative of a would be 1, so 1 dA dt is equal to, we'll bring our constant, the 2 along, and then the derivative of w squared is going to be 2w, but we just took the derivative of w with respect to time. All right, from here, let's plug in the information that we know. We're trying to find dA dt. So we'll leave that over on the left-hand side. Then we have two times two makes four. W in our case is 300 meters. And then dW dt was given up above to be 46 meters per year. So with a little multiplying here, we have dA dt is gonna be four times 300 times 46, which works out to be 55,200 and multiplying our units, we get meters squared per year. All right, so when you set these up, draw yourself a picture, identify all the information that you know. I like listening to that off to the side before I get plugging anything in. Impl implicitly differentiate. Um, be careful as you do that, but just be careful that you're differentiating with respect to time. So whatever your variable is, it's gonna be dA dt or dW dt. Plug in your values and do a little bit of simplifying down and you can do these. All right, good luck to you.